Experiencing charging problems with your valve index controllers? You're not alone. Many users face issues where the controller doesn't charge or only works when plugged in. First, ensure your firmware is up to date and restart SteamVR. These basic steps resolve many charging issues before diving into hardware troubleshooting. The LED indicator is your first diagnostic tool. An orange LED means the controller is charging properly. No light at all suggests a problem with the cable, power source, or charging port. Try different USB-C cables and power sources. Some third-party cables may not be fully compatible due to molding around the controller's ports. The included cable is your best bet for reliable charging. For power sources, try wall adapters, different PC USB ports, or power banks. USB ports on the back of your motherboard are often more reliable than front panel ports. Fast charging requires at least one amp capability. If your controllers have been exposed to extreme temperatures, allow them to acclimatize to room temperature for 30 to 40 minutes before charging. Also be aware that power surges from your PC can permanently damage your controller. These quick fixes resolve most common valve index controller charging issues. If your controller still won't charge after trying these steps, you may need advanced troubleshooting or hardware repair. When basic troubleshooting fails, advanced techniques can resolve persistent charging issues. The hard reset procedure varies depending on your controller's current state. If your controller works while disconnected, hold the system button for 10 to 15 seconds. This button is located under the touchpad on the back of the controller. If your controller turns off when disconnected from power, connect it to power first, then hold the system button for 10 to 15 seconds while connected. An alternative method involves charging for 10 minutes, then unplugging and holding the system button for 15 seconds before powering on again. Lithium polymer batteries in valve index controllers degrade over time. This can cause controllers to show high battery percentages but die quickly during use. To recalibrate your battery, completely drain it to 0%, then fully charge it back to 100%. This process helps the controller accurately read battery levels. Lithium polymer batteries naturally degrade over time, but they degrade slower than typical lithium ion cells. However, after several years of use, replacement may become necessary. To prevent future charging issues, consider using USB-C breakaway cables. These protect the controller's connector from damage during use. If problems persist after trying these solutions, contact Steam support, especially if your controller is still under warranty. They can provide official assistance or replacement options. As a last resort, DIY battery replacement is possible for experienced users. However, this should only be attempted after warranty expiration and with proper tools and knowledge.